Zikung and Zilu were both prized disciples of Confucius and were among the ten sages of the Confucian school. During the spring and autumn and warring states periods, the state of Lu had a law, anyone who ransomed a citizen of Lu who had fallen into slavery abroad would be reimbursed for all expenses incurred in the ransom by the Lu government. Once, Zikung happened to encounter a citizen of Lu who had become a slave while he was abroad, so he ransomed him back to his homeland. However, Zikung did not request reimbursement from the Lu government for the expenses. Being a successful businessman and very wealthy, he did not mind the cost of the ransom. Zikung's compassion and generosity moved the people of Lu, and his deed became widely celebrated throughout the state. Zikung was very happy to have done a good deed for the people of Lu. When Confucius learned of this, he was very displeased and said to Zikung, You are truly confused. From now on, no one will be willing to ransom citizens of Lu who have become slaves. Sure enough, after people heard about this, they were no longer willing to actively ransom slaves. This was because the cost of doing a good deed by ransoming slaves had been raised by Zigong, and ordinary citizens of Lu could not afford to follow Zigong's moral standard of not caring about the cost of the ransom. When Zilu was young, his family was poor, but he was naturally filial, sincere, and upright. Once, while Zilu was out, he happened to encounter someone drowning. Without hesitation, Zilu jumped into the river and saved the drowning person. The family of the rescued person was very grateful for Zilu's bravery and gave him a cow as a reward. True to his straightforward character, Zilu accepted it. Zilu's deed quickly spread throughout the state of Lu, and people praised his noble spirit of selflessness and saving others. However, some people mocked Zilu, saying that as a personal disciple of the sage Confucius, how could he be so greedy as to accept a cow as a reward? When Confucius learned of this, he praised Zilu, saying, You did the right thing, now everyone will be willing to save others. Sure enough, from that point on, the social atmosphere changed significantly, and everyone became eager to help others. Those who accepted rewards would not feel guilty, while those who refused rewards felt that they could compare themselves to a virtuous person like Zilu. It is clear that, while both were helping others and doing good deeds, Zilu's actions and attitude were more likely to inspire others to follow his example, fostering a culture of taking pleasure in helping others.